Welcome to the training tutorial for creating a one-time print request using WebCRD. In this training tutorial, we will review submitting a one-time print request using WebCRD for print production. The end user will go to the area called Upload a File. Under Upload File, there are sample file types that are acceptable. By selecting the Browse button, I will now locate my print ready file. Here is my PDF and I will select Open. If you have multiple files you need to load, you may select the Multiple Files link and load those files to the order. I will select the Go button and a progress bar will show how much of the job has been loaded to my order. Now that we are in the cart, you will see that the end user may provide an optional name for the order. This helps the end user locate the file if they have reorders or reprints in the future. One file has been loaded, my PDF. And if I have a replacement file for this PDF, I will select that button and replace the file. WebCRD also provides order estimates, and as I adjust the quantities up or down, that order estimate figure will then change. Next, under the one-click print options, there are three icons or buttons that allow end users to quickly select their finishing requirements without having to enter them in manually. If you choose to enter them manually, enter in the Choose Color Paper Stocks and then enter in from the drop-down your requirements for this print order. If you have special instructions, you may provide those as well to the Print Center. Select the Save button to honor those changes. Next, choose your finishing or binding options. In this window, you will simply select the icon that best represents the finishing requirement needed. Under Folding and Drilling, you will do the same with the icons. Under Covers, this allows the end user to specify where the covers are located within the print file and the paper stock needed to be printed on. Under Other, the end user will select their other additional finishing requirements, from cutting to shrink wrapping, lamination, or wide format. Under Tabs, this allows the end user to set up tabs for their print requests if they are selecting maybe a binder or a manual. They may select the font and attributes and then specify where the tab should be located and the label on that tab. Once they've entered this information, they will select Save Tab and then enter in the next tab in order. Under Insertion or Split Slip Sheets, this allows the end user to insert a slip, a slip sheet or something above and beyond or add exception pages. So if you have a color page within a black and white manual or a booklet. Once you have entered in the paper, and the page range of that exception page, then you may click Save to honor the changes and have that added to your order. And as you can see now, the order estimate has been populated with finishing or paper requirements as well. Next, the end user will preview the document. It is required that an end user previews the document before finalizing or submitting the print request to the print center. As you can see, you can use the click button to move the file as if you are turning a page and you may also rotate it if you'd need to to review the document. Once you've reviewed or previewed the document, you must check the Please Approve button that you review the document. If you do not check this, you will be prompted to do so prior to moving forward. If you have any special instructions, you may add them by clicking the Special Instruction link. And also, if you require a proof before print production is completed, then you check the box Provide a Sample, and a proof will be approved. Under Delivery Information, you will select the service level of Standard or Rush, and depending on the service level, then the date of your delivery will then update. Under Select Delivery Method, the end user will select either they will pick it up or have local delivery. You may add special instructions to the recipient, and you can see that there is a hyperlink to your PDF allowing you to click it to preview it in a new web browser. Under Billing Information, your default shipping address will prompt. You will enter in your account code for this order to be charged to. It is a six-digit code. Under percentage, you will see it is zero. That means 100% of this job will be, will be charged to that particular account code. If you are doing splits, then you would change it to 50 and then add your, your split so that 50% of the job is charged to one budget center and 50 is charged to a different. You need to enter in a subcode. If you do not know your subcode, then you will enter in the four zeros. If this is a cash transaction, you will select the cash transaction, and when you pick up your order from the print center, then you will take care of that transaction at that time. 
Once you are ready to place your order, you will click the Submit Order, and a prompt box will show you the total of your order, and then acknowledging that these are uh, protected or documents and legally allowed to be printed, and then you will get a Submit Order Receipt. This shows you a breakdown of your entire order and allows you to print this for your records if you'd need to. Next, you may select the Home button or Log Out. This will take you either back to the beginning of the WebCRD application or simply log out to complete your order. Once your order has been completed, you will receive an email notification that your job has been submitted. This is submitting a one-time print request using the upload a file in WebCRD for University of Rochester. Thank you.